What's up guys? This is Philly Soft Gold. This is also my channel. We're healing. That's it. Let's see what they want to get into. And my time is now. I'm coming alive. So that's maybe you guys are saying like this is my time. Maybe you guys can feel like this is my time. Like I've been sitting under a bush, sitting in the corner hide in for like way too long for somebody your, your time is now or maybe it's your time to be seen some of you were like damn i need a car because i'm tired of taking the bus or uber in or like i need a pair of wheels set of wheels something like that <laughs> thank you so in the upright this engineer card is a very good problem solver okay but in the low attribute, it's somebody who they don't think that consequence was ever going to come to the dough. So just so I can have this message go in the right direction, we're going to find out. All right. I command the truth, please. Today, September 7, 2022. Thank you. Clear that, please. I command the truth. Is this the engineer in the upright? <laughs> Ugh. All right. There's consequence showing up for somebody. She's a good girl. Somebody came against the good. Oh, justice is here. Did somebody come up against a good girl? <laughs> Something around your home, I feel like. There could be cops around your home with the justice and the ace of cups. The cops could be called to somebody's home. What well, can you, uh, let's just see. Well, tell me about this engineer, please. Why, what is this? Who's engineering something now? Oh, I know what that was. That was some Ten of Pentacles kind of shit. Oh, boy. With this Ten of Pentacles, this is always like generational wealth. This is uh, like family business. This is also like life insurance. Clarify this, this Ten of Pentacles, please. On a child, possibly. Okay. Well, okay. Well, first of all, I see that for those of you in the upright, I'm going to say this anyway. For those of you who are like starting from nothing, and you, you can come up with creative ideas to get into this Ten of Pentacles um energy like legacy starting a business an online business a logo like whatever it is it's something that's going to be handed down it's something that people aren't going to forget but in the low attribute this is somebody who had a life insurance policy out on their child all right clarify this please can you tell me about the, the ten of pentacles and the page of cups For stability. They wanted stability. Oh my gosh, I can't. All right, hold on. Let, let me get some more information on this. Let me turn this up. Oh, damn, this just flipped up. Oh, this flipped off the top of my little deck, the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm sure that that's relevant. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this could either be someone that did this on their child, or this could be the child. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is the child. Now, just because the Page of Cups is here, it doesn't mean that it's a small child. This could just mean like somebody had an insurance policy out on their kid. Somebody also married somebody just for a child, and they're finding out it wasn't theirs as well. Soulmates. Private eyes watching you. So there is a private investigator on this. So this is definitely a case, because I know um, there's a lot of you that have something like this going on where... You're bringing attention to life insurance that was put on you by family members and they thought that you were a lost cause or this seems to be like rampant happening all over the place. It's it's also getting exposed rampantly all over the place. So soulmates. So I'm going to put this up. Oh, these, this is soulmates. Soulmates are people, sisters, parents, cousins. Children is even a soulmate. Move in silence. There may be somebody, there may be something uh, coming soon for you that you're going to get some kind of life insurance 
money that was left to you by possibly a grandmother as well with this Queen of Pentacles here. But there's some kind. There's an investigator on some shit here, no doubt. Can I get one more of these, please? Thank you. Is in love with you. All right. So this soul. That's why I separated this because I knew that this soulmates. I made one that said soul ties too, and I knew that if it wasn't a good, if it wasn't a good. Um, Matched and the soul ties would have come out for the broken hearted. So there's some people that are broken hearted that somebody's crazy in love with you. This is for um, those of you who are with somebody and you know that this is your soulmate. I'm going to pull some tarot on these. It's my life. So this could be the two of you just saying this is our lives. This is what we want to do. We're building generational wealth. We have forgiven, we have forgotten, and we moved away. Tell me about this soulmate, please, and is in love with you. Thank you. Virgo energy. But this is you guys just, you know, staying to yourself, staying inside, learning lessons, taking accountability, gaining wisdom and knowledge, seeing life differently, healing. This is also the light being shined. This is like the two of you are, are, are meant to be seen, meant to be in the spotlight. But this is what people wanted, though. I feel like for if you could be a Virgo and somebody, or so, there's a Virgo that feels betrayed by a Sagittarius for someone specific here. This is for the ones that stood their ground. Thank you, Spirit, guys. So I feel like this is the thing. For you soulmates, okay, I think that you guys realize that you have been isolated from each other for this lifetime. If you haven't connected with each other by now, then you're going to, if, even if the universe has to move some shit around and, and, and bring some bullshit into some people's lives to put you guys together. Because I honestly think that there's a lot of people who are trying to destroy this connection and they're not going to. You guys just pretty much stay to yourselves. You have balance. You find balance in each other. So why would you need outside sources? When you're not healed and you're with someone, you know, you guys could have been with your soulmate already. But outside influences broke you up. Family, friends, all these people who are miserable in their own relationships telling you guys, you should split up because I'm miserable. I'm single. I want somebody to go drink with. I want somebody to go out with. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to give you bad advice instead. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. There are some people who want to end this shit, right? Like some, why, are, why are so many people all up in their head over your soulmate connection? Don't bend or break. So they can't break this connection. They can't bend this connection. They can't split these up. They can't get used to betray each other. They can't get used to what? It's soulmates. That should be a wrap, right? Like once we see soulmates, but because the term soulmate, I think, has been used so loosely, just like love and friend, I don't think people really take it for what it's worth. It's you you can't function without each other. It's not codependency. It's just you can't function without each other. You feel lost. You feel like a part of you isn't there anymore. So that's what I'm picking up as a couple here that knows this about each other and they don't want to be away from each other. Whether you're together or not or whether you're in separation and you know who your soulmate is, these are the types of people who can't they can still function because there's no, like I said, there's no codependency, but they work much better together. These are the types of people who work better together. They came here to do great things together. It's like the power couple, supernatural. Yeah, they give each other supernatural willpower and strength. They do this for each other. It's not just one-sided. It's my life. Yep, I love it. Somebody's losing their absolute mind, though. Was somebody supposed to end this connection? Why are they losing their mind? Surrounded by traffickers and they're surrounded. You're surrounded. <laughs> okay. Here we go with this again. Yep. This Ten of Pentacles was definitely some kind of life insurance. Let's clarify this. This shit is crazy. Let's groove tonight. Something's going to happen tonight. Something's definitely going to happen tonight. And I pulled this twice yesterday about somebody's property manager. Somebody's property manager, again, did some dirty shit with some spell work. And when that shit comes back, I honestly think it may take this person out. I command the truth. 
Is somebody's property manager about to get it tonight for some spell work they did? I'm telling you, somebody like this is the type of person where they cannot stand the fact that the universe said no. And the universe is your whoever you are, your sugar daddy. Okay, and, and when your sugar daddy says, Don't mess with my kid, hmm, somebody about to find out just how special another person is to the universe. But let's let's move on to this. I command the truth, please. It was, the, was this Ten of Pentacles a life insurance policy on someone's child with the Page of Cups? Yes. So you could be this Capricorn Taurus Virgo because this stuck to my finger. Like it was strange how this flipped over when I moved my hand just over that deck. So you could definitely be an earth sign. <sighs> your private eyes are watching your home. Why are they watching your home? Because you're surrounded by traffickers, but they're surrounded by undercover. Let's find out who's losing their mind. I feel like this is important. Why is this person like this? There's a Virgo specifically out here, but I feel like it's because they can't end you. This is you in hermit mode. You must be an introvert. You must be somebody, both of you. This soulmates. They could, they, there could possibly be a situation where both of you were actually on the chopping block at one point. Or they wanted to get you alone so that they could do whatever they wanted to do to offer you to get this life insurance money. But you actually are with a soulmate who's in love with you. And there's no problems or no um, obstacles or no trials or tribulations that are too difficult for this person to leave you. And vice versa. And this is a, yeah, this is a very successful relationship. This soul, You can't rip soulmates apart. And you're probably dealing with people who never experienced a soulmate connection before. Or they did and they ruined it. Or they did and they ruined it. Hmm? Losing their mind. I feel like something was supposed to have gone forward by now. There could be some. Let me tell you. What, I mean, oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Look. These people are projecting also. They're projecting. So if you feel like um, any kind of confusion or headaches or anything because sometimes it'll manifest like if they're projecting their mental instability onto you it could just manifest on you as like a headache lightheaded you know because your ancestors they're never going to let you feel what someone else is going through but they'll let you feel a little bit of it just to let you know like clear your energy because someone's projecting what they're going through onto you they know that that whatever something's coming towards you and this is a judgment call this is something that was for you. This could definitely also be, this could be a situation where you were supposed to get some life insurance money left from possibly a parent or a grandparent or a family member, and they know what this is, you're getting it regardless. I also think for somebody though, there were two situations with one person where not only did, because you were supposed to get money left from a, a, someone passing in your family and your family members, some of them didn't want you to get it, they thought, well, let's take them out. And then, and then oh, well, since we're going to take them out, we might as well make money off taking them out. 1313 it was. It's like, how deep does the betrayal go? Like, how, how little do you value my life is what I think. That's what I feel like. How, how feeding my appetite. It isn't safe to walk the city streets alone. So you may feel like uh, because of all this stuff that's happening, it's not even safe for you to go outside by yourself. Or maybe this is my guides telling you, Divine Feminine Empress, that it's not safe for you to go out by yourself right now. Because with these people losing their mind, there's something that they were supposed to do. Page, oh, so you're you're gonna somebody's about to get some kind of message, like quick message about some kind of judgment that went in your favor. There could have been a whole court case going on surrounding this this ten of pentacles. Yeah, it, it's coming to you, divine feminine. So if you are waiting, yeah, Aquarius, Libra, or Taurus energy, but I feel like this is just you know this is gonna this is like a wish of yours. This is a wish fulfillment coming true here. What is this page of swords about? Tell me about this page of swords. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is already out here, and I kind of feel like that's what it's about. But, yeah, let me get another deck just because I'm just, I have a feeling. But let's just see. Tell me about, what's this page of swords about? Move in silence is what I'm picking up here, too. Yeah, here we go again. It's going to help you leave. It's going to help you. Like, if you wanted to leave or move, this is what's going to help you. When you get this message, it's like, I'm out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, like, quick packing 
just taking what's important and leaving everything go because it's not going to matter. I feel like it, it took a while for this to come towards you. Queen of Wands. You stood your ground this entire time, Divine Feminine. There's definitely a karmic female somewhere. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, that's pissed off about this. There's a karmic female somewhere in your energy. Which one, right? One in particular, though, that is very pissed off that you're getting this. It could be a Capricorn. Yeah, they're pissed off. Because they're, they're watching you or they know that you're about to get some kind of... Um, some kind of message or some yeah there's definitely some kind of communication that's happening right that you are not in this five of pentacles energy that there's light at the end of the tunnel when this five of pentacles is in reverse for me this is like i'm not i don't feel like my life is going to stay this way i'm not going to stay in whatever situation because there's a, a lot of you that are in a situations where you you felt like you were losing things because you were being punished I mean, there's multiple facets. There's lessons to be learned, taking accountability, appreciating money more, spending on the right things, being grateful for the things that you do have and not constantly looking at the things that you don't have yet. Uh, and then there's also other factors like family members and gang stalkers and welcome to the Hotel California. So some of you could be living in a hotel. You could be in California, but I think this is just you. Like You were probably in this situation for longer than you should have been. This though, to me, is seeing light at the end of the tunnel. You don't have a Five of Pentacles mindset. Uh, you know that you're destined for greatness. You know that something is coming. You can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. You got over this. You got over a lot of heartbreak and a lot of betrayal. There's some There's some people who I thought, I, I feel like there's some people who thought that you were going to be struggling for the rest of your life. You may have thought this. Maybe you used to think negative, but there's something that changed here because for that Ten of Pentacles to be the first tarot card that comes out, that is the best financial card in the deck. Cool wind in my hair. Some of you are going to go on a road trip. You're going to have the top down. Maybe you're going to buy or rent a convertible. I just, I feel like a free life. Like, like, what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's just leave kind of thing. That's what I feel like. Like, if you're with your soulmate right now and you guys are in love with each other, I think that you guys are going to be like, so where do you want to go? You're going to have the option to go wherever you feel like it. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Just wing it. Like, that's what I think. Like, why do we have to make plans? Like, it's just a very free life. I, you deserve this shit because if this is this, this situation that's been coming up a lot about the life insurance and the betrayal from your family members, you know, wanting to keep you stuck and working a job like a nine to five, a job that just keeps you just over broke, there's definitely, um, look, this is someone who loves you. Whether it's a Leo or whether it's a water sign. This is somebody that has a lot of love for you. They're not confused. They don't feel trapped with you. Knight of Cups in the upright. They absolutely love you. They, it's like they idolize you, 1818. This is the person that you're going to be taking off with. I do feel like, I'm sorry if I say this again, that you guys are going to be like, she's got to Mercedes Benz. I mean, you, you're going to be able to buy whatever you want. And it's because the universe knows that you're going to give back. So let's say that you have this plan of like... Let's just wing it. Let's just road trip or let's just go, right? Because for this eight of wands to come out twice, for me, this is like, like let's just leave. I'm done. Like, leave it. They can have it. Leave it, you know? Take a few important things and just roll, like one bag. That's what I get. But it's, it's going to be like, you know, you're going to be able to see things. You're going to be able to see the country, see the world. 1969. That's amazing. You deserve this. For whoever you are, you deserve this. There's definitely somebody with this song being on that's living in a hotel right now that should not be because you had money coming to you and you're you're about to get something. If this isn't the money from the people who took it from you, because some of you, the people spent it and they don't even have it to give back. Others, they're being forced to sell their shit, homes and stuff to give it back. They're, that judgment, I feel like, is a court judgment. Some, something's coming towards you that was for you. It was your judgment. What a nice surprise. With your alibi. So your alibi checked out on something, especially if somebody was trying to set you up to go down for something. 
We are all just prisoners here. Right, and you're not going to be. So if you're living in a hotel or a motel, I, I think you doing the work and you changing your life, you're probably one of the very few people that are going to move up out of there, and that's not going to be the last stop like it is for a lot of people. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, living in a hotel or a motel, for most people, it's like the ground after that, okay? And I don't feel like you, if you're, if I'm pulling on your energy and you're on the same consciousness as me, then you did a lot of work and you know that there's something better for you and you were tested in these situations with drugs and all kinds of shit around you and we all program to deceive, but you can never leave. Right, you will be. For who I'm talking to, you're going to believing that this, this situation that you're in. Because I feel like somebody wanted it real bad for you. And these are people that you had love for. These are soulmates of yours. These are people too many, please. These are people where I, I think that you genuinely like would have helped them. You would have never let them be in the situation that you were in, like the way that they let you. You would have probably helped them to the point of even putting yourself in a compromising situation. And that's one of the lessons that you had to learn. What can you tell me about this situation, please, Spirit? What, what letters can you give me about this situation? That's coming towards somebody. I very rarely say that something is coming towards uh, you, but I do feel like they're for somebody in particular. And there is a, a judgment that was, it's like finalized and it's yours. Move in silence is what I keep feeling. Like move in silence. I think you guys have been though. And a... Did I tell you I love you guys today? Nap. Okay, so some of you can need a nap. <laughs> or you're going to be able to get a lot of rest. Rest, relaxation, vacationing, just chilling, buying things, helping other people out along the way. Oh, that's what I was saying. The reason I think that for who this is for that you're getting this is because the universe knows that, let's just say you decide to take a road trip and you're like, I just want to see some shit. I don't even know most of my country, you know? You're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to rest. But you, the universe knows you're also going to bless people and using your discernment along the way. I command the truth. Is this saying that who I'm reading for needs a nap? <laughs> okay. So this goes with the your soul is tired message that came out. 2222. Don't listen to anybody else in your environment. You know how we grew up and it was like, if you're an empath especially, maybe you're understanding now that the reason that you were always so tired is because you were sucking up everybody else's energy. The balls on these people, right? That you would be around some family members and then you would be the one that's exhausted and it's because they were tired. You know what I mean? And then they go, why do you sleep so much? You don't have to explain that to anybody now, I promise you. If you're an empath, uh, you get tired just from going to the store. So don't fight sleep. All right. Uh, let me find out if this has any other meanings here. I command the truth. Does this NAP have any other meanings here? Okay. All right. I'll look them up. Yeah. Take a nap today, you guys. Listen to some calming music and take a nap. I set my sights on you. Yeah. Th listen, people are watching you. I think that people are watching you to see if you got this or not. 2323. Somebody thinks they got to have their way now, baby. There's your way. That's slang, right? Let's do slang. Not a problem. Ooh, hoo hoo. Not a problem. Maybe this is you guys going, oh, so Spirit's telling me to chill. <laughs> not a problem, Spirit. Let's see what this not a problem is. You're priceless. Look at that. Maybe you're saying, or you're going to be saying, thank you, thank you, universe, thank you. And the universe is saying, not a problem. Like, you earned this. You deserve this. Tick, tock, tick, tock. So somebody could have also told, oh, boy, I love this shit. Somebody was like, yeah, I got this. Don't worry. They'll be gone by this. Not a problem. Not a problem. Meanwhile, time's running out. And it's like somebody or multiple people know that something is on its way to you. They know this. You're priceless. Again, in case you forgot the first time. So look, the streets are talking. The streets are talking about someone trying to get you arrested because they know that some, something is coming to you. Let's, let's find out what these streets are talking about. Let me get some cards I haven't used in a while. 
Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. The streets are talking about something. This could be about somebody that's arrested. They're talking about this person. All right, let's find out. Tell me about the streets are talking and arrested, please. The streets are talking. Thank you. That these people were all working together either for somebody trying to do dirty shit to you for somebody that is arrested or that all these people were collaborating together to try to get you arrested. Tick tock, tick tock, three of pentacles. Why is this three of pentacles here? This is sick. This is sick that these people were all trying to get another person locked up so that they don't get something that they deserve. Like, who, who are you? The balls on some people here. They were possibly working together with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or, or separate ways is on, right? So these are people that you had to uh, separate yourself from. This also could be that the streets are talking about what somebody does for work. They speak on some shit. They talk about karmic energy as well. I command the truth here, but let's find out. I command the truth. Is this working together to try to get somebody arrested? Can you clear that, please, Spirit? Were they working together with a, um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? To try to get somebody locked up. I command the truth, please. Is this King of Wands in the upright? Where they were trying to get a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius locked up. Arrested. Wow. Who's this? Who was... Who was this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that was trying to get uh, an, uh, a fire sign locked up here? Break those chains that bind you. So this person was bound to somebody, and I guess they broke the chains, whether this is an ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, okay? An ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, that's what it was. Somebody broke chains of being bound to this Queen of Swords energy. Drug dealer, they tried to say that somebody was dealing drugs. You guys are just so dirty. But the streets are talking, though. The streets are definitely talking. So there's some. There's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wanted to try to get a fire sign caught up for dealing drugs or to set them up to look like they were dealing drugs. The law is watching and protecting you. Thank you, law. <laughs> Thank you, right, to the ones that are on the up and up. Confusion and pain. So there's somebody who felt like, how dare you break away from me? How dare you uh, leave my grip? So I'm going to try and have you arrested and I'm going to work with other people to try to have you arrested. This is just toxic as shit. In your circle. So these were people that were in your circle or they used to be in your circle. Envy. Look, somebody is so jealous that they tried to get somebody set up to get locked up. Did you miss the first one? Bam! Right? Can you handle this? This is crazy. So I see why somebody had to separate from somebody. It's dangerous. Make an effort not to waste water when washing. So this is somebody, so that's, thank you. This is somebody who literally, and, and I guess because they're saying this, is like it goes with their demeanor. It goes with their character. They don't appreciate many things. They probably didn't appreciate this fire sign when they were in their life. Whether this is a wife, a girlfriend, a mother, a grand, whatever it is, somebody didn't appreciate somebody when they had them. And they, like, they held on to them like in a very toxic way underhanded way this is the type of person that will just sit there and leave water running and not care like i don't care they don't care that other countries don't have running water it's just this type of person this queen of swords could be a karmic masculine too like this could be a dude that acts like a straight bitch that they were working together possibly with uh, and there's okay there could be somebody that was working together with an aries leo sagittarius to try to get somebody locked up as well because of what somebody was saying i command the truth here that's also something i'm seeing is there also a fire sign that was working together to try to get somebody locked up because what they do for work is they expose them so it's going to be different for all of you but i, I feel like you get the gist of this it's like People were collaborating to try to set up somebody to get 
arrested but for drug, for dealing drugs and they don't deal drugs anymore so if the law is watching and protecting you then that means the law knows that you're not a drug dealer you could have been in the past you could have been in the past but not anymore tell me about this arrested and drug dealer with this envy this is like yeah look you are protected this is definitely the law knows the cops know True love won't desert you. So this is true love with this soulmates thing. Um, there definitely could be like this group of people. This could be someone's family members. This could your father could have been involved in something here. This group of people though, like there could be an Aries that's like a ringleader to this. And something's coming back to this person. I also feel like this could be a divine masculine and this is their family that, that's a little stressed out over this. That's not going to be for everybody, but there, there's a divine masculine uh, whose family members thought that this person was always going to be um, weighing options like back and forth or moving out and coming back home or getting sober and going back to drugs and they're not anymore. Maybe this person used to deal drugs but they don't anymore because they saved their life. That that Ten of Pentacles coming out first is like reward from the universe. Like you did it. We're proud of you. This is like, it. this drains me. This shit drains me with people trying to set people up to get locked up. Like you guys are just so dirty. Uh, and you, and you waste water. So not only are your asses dirty, but you waste water. So the, the, I can't wait for karma to come around for people like this. Where are we at? 31? This shit is like, yeah, the universe was like, what, 31, 31. When we say no, we don't care who you think you are. We don't care what you did to other people. We don't care how many dingbats you successfully got locked up. This one, or these two, we said no, depending on your situation. The people were just waiting and waiting, and, uh, and time is definitely running out. I just saw that hourglass card, man. Yes, this is you guys. Sailing takes me away to where I'm going. Eight to abundance. Ooh wee, ooh wee. You getting this shit whether they like it or not, and they're probably gonna watch you get this. It's probably going to be a situation where the universe will just have it come to you right in front of your enemies, man. It's like, this is what happens when you live right. Yeah, intuitively, because I feel like this. You're so intuitive that it's got people like this. You know what they're up to before they can even start the shit, and it's got people like this. I feel like intuitively, you can feel that people are so mentally conflicted, like freaking out. Because the universe is on somebody's ass or multiple people's asses. Maybe you guys can feel this a little bit. And that's why the universe is saying, like, just take a rest. Take a bow. Right? Take a nap. Because whatever this is that's on its way to you or it's in the works. Because I also feel like the Eight of Wands is, like, something that's in the works, like, energetically on its way to you. Not so much just always bad projection or something like that. But that, that something has been in the works that you have manifested that the universe is bringing for you. Just stay put and chill. If you feel like you know it's so close, like, I did all the work. I've been waiting for a while. I went through the time of loss. I healed. I know that I'm, I'm healed to a certain point. Like, you know you deserve something and you just feel it in your bones that it's coming. I feel like the universe is saying, just get some rest. You did all. You did everything you had to do so far. Just chill and let us do the rest. All right. So we're not going nowhere, though. Congratulations for who this is for. You deserve this. I love you guys. Philly out.